A lot of times when people ask me why I became a dietitian, I don't know what to say because it's a really loaded story, so it's a really loaded question for me. So I thought today I would sit down and take you guys through my whole journey of becoming a dietitian, why I became a dietitian, and what I do now. So for me, it really started when I was about 15 years old. I'm currently 29, so it's quite a while ago. And I struggled with my body image and my relationship with food back then. I would read all sorts of stuff on the internet, like, you know, go on these cleanses and just eat vegetables or just eat fruit. And I would do all of these diets and I would compare myself to other people. I had really low self-esteem. I, me I remember back in probably high school, I was at my lowest weight and my highest weight in high school, probably in like 11th grade. And that wasn't healthy. I mean, it was a result of restricting and binging and restricting and binging and going through that cycle and not getting out of it. And I spent so much time and energy on those kinds of things that it was so draining. It was exhausting. It was stress me out. What really started to help me heal my relationship with food was actually a formal education in nutrition. So needless to say, I was always at a young age, I was interested in nutrition and it really came, I think looking back from a selfish place, it was a place that I was in where I felt that I wanted all this nutrition knowledge so that I could be perfect. Now it has transformed into wanting to have all this nutrition knowledge so that I can help other people not go through what I went through. Because when I went to get my bachelor's degree in nutrition, this was at Florida State, I started to learn about the effects of starvation on the body. And I realized that what I was doing to the one and only body that I had was actually hurting it. It wasn't helping it. I actually knew that I wanted to do something in nutrition. Um, so I just wanted to learn more. And I went for my master's degree. I got my master's from UT Southwestern Medical Center, which was a predominantly medical school. So, but I, I had, there was a nutrition program in there. And that school was was very clinical clinical so it kind of prepped me to work in a hospital and it was so interesting and at this point i was in a much healthier mindset just because just from education just from learning the right information and not being sucked into the misinformation that i was reading online when i was a kid and during my master's degree, it was so interesting because I learned more about the human body. I learned and, and understood what happens to a burger when you eat it from start to finish. Um, learning about every possible medical condition and how nutrition plays a role in that. Learning about the different medications and nutrition interactions with those. And I also learned a lot about how to read research articles and did a thesis in my, during my master's degree. And it was just so detailed and interesting, like learning how different vitamins and minerals are metabolized and absorbed and toxicities and deficiencies. And I nerded out. I loved it. So naturally, that kind of education, because it was very medical based, it prepped me to work in a hospital. Um, so that's what I did. So I went and I worked at, in the branches of Baylor for about three years. And that I loved too, it was so fascinating. It was amazing getting to work with physicians and nurses and learning so much. I just, I love learning. So learning so much from them was so rewarding. Also working with super sick patients and making sure that I was keeping them nourished was super rewarding. Um, calculating tube feeds and TPNs. TPNs are like IV nutrition to um, make sure that I was giving the best nutrition for these sick patients. I even worked in an ICU for a little bit and that was so interesting. But there was something inside me that made me feel like, I don't know if I wanna do this long term and I didn't know exactly why, but sometimes I we would get consulted as dietitians to give nutrition education to patients and honestly it wasn't my favorite thing to do because I felt a lot of times the patient wasn't hundred percent willing to receive the education and I didn't know exactly how to provide that education in a way or to open up that conversation in a way that they would be more interested I was lacking in that knowledge so one day it was a Saturday I got consulted to give a diabetic patient and his family nutrition education on how to manage his newly diagnosed diabetes. So I went in there, you know, my usual, I was like, oh man, I'm not sure if he's going to be interested in this, but okay, let's do it. And as I started to like provide the, the information, that family was so grateful. 
the mother like hugged me. Everyone in that family like was just so thankful and so grateful, including the patient. And I have never felt in that hospital, I have never felt that huge surge of gratitude in that way before. And that's when the light bulb moment clicked for me and I realized, okay, I need to, I need to do this more. I need to work in preventive care. I need to help others before they get to this point where they're so sick and they're in the hospital. Um, so that's exactly what I did. I started to work in preventive care, which is what I do now. I sit down with clients one-on-one. -on -one. I help them with small healthy habit changes to help them reach whatever goal, goal that they have. And it, it's more than just nutrition education. It's about really understanding and learning the science of behavior change and helping the client go from knowing what to do to actually doing it, to actually applying this information and education, because those are two different things. You, you may know all of this stuff, but actually applying it is a completely different thing. So I, as I said, like I love learning. So I got to learn a lot more about behavior change and how to help people really take their knowledge and apply it. And that's something I'm still learning and I still enjoy, enjoy that. And I love that because now I really feel like, you know, I get to, I have a whole hour with, with the client versus in, in the hospital, I had maybe 15 to 20 minutes with a patient. And I really get to follow up with them over and over again and see how they're progressing. And I just, I really love that. I really love that I I'm, I'm, feel like I'm truly helping and making a difference. And that's not to say that I didn't like help and make a difference in the hospital. It's just a kind of different experience for me because I loved working in the hospital and I loved helping like super sick patients, but I just knew it just wasn't for me long term. And, but I wouldn't even be opposed to like working in the hospital on a PRN basis again, because it was just so fascinating. Another reason I still love being a dietitian is because nutrition is always evolving. It's always changing. You know, modern nutrition science is actually something that is relatively new. It hasn't been studied for centuries and centuries and centuries. Um, like for example, the first vitamin wasn't discovered until what, 1926? And dietary guidelines, you know, the dietary guidelines of America that were established to help us prevent chronic disease. That wasn't established until 1980, until the 1980s. And that wasn't too long ago, right? That's just crazy to me because it just goes to show that nutrition may seem like a mess. This field of nutritional science may seem like such a mess because one study says something, another study says something else. But to me, I don't think it's actually a mess. I think it's just so new. It hasn't been studied in detail, like chemistry, for example. It hasn't been studied for that long of a time period yet. And we're still learning so much and there's still so much research being done. I'll tell you, like even when I was doing my master's degree, which was 2013 to 2015, we just touched on the gut microbiome. I don't think we really went into detail and um, because there, we just didn't know that much about the gut microbiome and we still don't and we're still learning about that. So I just love that the field of nutrition is always evolving and always changing and I love that I get to be in the middle of that, in the midst, in midst, midst of that and just continue to learn and grow with the research. I just love that. Honestly, like the reason that I created this whole YouTube channel is to help people try to not go through what I went through because the reason that I struggle so much with my body image and all of that was largely due to misinformation I heard from other people and that I read online. And I don't want anyone else to go through that. I want to make sure that I'm helping be part of the solution and providing the right information for people. So, and I know that not everyone is going to be, you know, changing their relationship with food and all of a sudden be healthier just because they know, you know, it's again, the difference between knowing and doing just because they know the right information, but it really helped me. So I'm hoping that maybe that will help my videos will help someone else too. When the pandemic started and um, when we had to quarantine, for the first time. I definitely struggled because, you know, I went from working out like almost every day to only maybe two or three times a week. So obviously I was gaining weight and, you know, stress eating. And I had to like take a step back and say, look, it's okay that I'm gaining weight. My weight and our bodies are always going to change throughout our lives. Menopause, like so many things happen in our lives where our bodies and our weight are going to change. And it's okay. My weight is not a reflection of who I am. It's not a reflection of my value or my worth. And I am given this one and only body. And so I want to treat it with kindness and love and respect. 
Everything that I went through, I feel was necessary for me to see being a dietitian was not just a job. It's actually a calling for me. And I hope that my videos will also help you guys love nutrition as much too and help you guys understand it a little bit more and maybe have a healthier mindset and a healthier relationship with food. Feel free to leave me any comments on anything that you thought while you were watching this video and I would love to connect with you guys in the comments. And my next video will be more science-based. I'm gonna be reviewing the keto diet and I'm also gonna be doing a video on a nutrition mistake that I made. So stay tuned for all of that. I hope to see you guys soon in my next video and thank you so, so much for watching. Talk to you guys later, bye.